We're looking at the bump in front. doing like a cutback oh yeah into the trough again because the wave is going to split and it's going to run a different way okay so once it runs the other way it's fresh it bumps up again it stands up shifting direction the ground swell tends to want to move in more on this run the wind swell wants to move out so what you're essentially doing is you're zigzagging okay so typically so a standard hawaii kai run pretty pretty standard to get northeast trades where it's opposed to north wind or east wind wind tends to run better towards the diamond head side and not as good on this side where today is northeast so it's coming predominantly out of the channel and side down to black point so what happens is we get this perfect bump that's groom running out but what you don't need to do is look too hard because most of the swell is coming from your side this way coming out you can always run in the ones you want to catch are the ones that go out and then run in and the ones that you catch running in you want to run out well, it's going to take you out. So you got ground swell that goes right, and you got wind swell that goes out left. Okay. So what you're doing, you're, you're, you're essentially all you're doing is zigzag. You're punching points where you see the peak, but you're not in the trough. You're not in the peak of the trough. You're kind of on the shoulder because you can spit, sit out there and relax and watch what the next bump is going to do. So once the bump splits, so you're staying on the edge. You're not trying to get into the deep part, like catch it and drop in. You don't need to. No. You don't need to. Because actually all the energy is right there. Uh -huh. and sometimes that part's the steepest part, so you won't fit in the trough. Whereas you're out on the shoulder, the thing spreads out more. Uh, okay. And I, I noticed that you don't actually follow the bump sometimes. You're just going straight even though, even yeah. though it's starting to curve. Yeah. You get tempted to see a bump if you look at it, but those aren't necessarily the ones you want to go for. You want to go for the ones that are small, and they're going to split, and they're going to run. And where are you looking then? How far from like our nose and so on? Where are you looking? I'm looking side to side. I'm never looking right in front of the board. Okay. That's not going to do you any good. Looking in front of the boat, then you got tunnel vision. And all you're looking at is what your nose is going to drop into. you got to see what's coming up from the angle. So your, 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 uh, your vision is kind of like this, yeah? Okay. Yeah? So you're kind of looking out like this. You don't want to put the blinds on in front of your nose, but you want to come out. You're looking left to right. When you're on a bump, you want to look around. Because that next bump is going to split into another bump, and that one's going to reform, and it's just going to jump. And that's how you link. It's like connecting the dots. Okay. It's just like you're just kind of you're you're going in a straight line, but you're zigzag. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's try then. Okay. So we're watching this bump now. This just kind of right in front of us, almost, right? Yeah. It's right in front of us. And we would have been dropping in right there. We would have been going dropping in. And you see out in front. Those other ones would have took us to the other one. We would have split in front of those. So forth. So we just got to basically been connecting all the way through. Okay. 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 So what are you looking at now then? Right in the front. Okay. Let the hole do its 
thing. At that point, you're just going short and shallow, and you see how I'm just following it left and right. Guess what? That's so funny. You're like, uh, Realize you weren't paddling. <laughs> I was pulling 200 plus of Evan around. 200. I was like, this is great. Todd, Todd is cranking right on. You gotta take the deep stroke, but. I'm the deep stroke. But once you get going, you're not. Yeah, so if I'm in the wave setting up, like right now, I do a couple of deep ones. I might be able to catch it on here. So, and then once I got it, then I go into the short, deep stroke. Right here. And then I follow the wave. training for you, you know, you put like the extra weight on the back and uh... Yeah! <laughs> You're gonna be a champ! So what are you watching then? What, where are you looking? I'm looking way ahead of me, like I'm looking about 15 feet ahead of me to see what the water's gonna do in front of me. And I'm looking for, I'm looking for the water to look like it's gonna set up and I'm gonna go to it and fall into it. You're just predicting like where it's going to be. Yeah, I'm predicting, but obviously I'm predicting with a lot of experience. You know, that's why the, the guys that surf so well do it so well. is because they're predicting or actually it's not even predicting. We're reading. At this point, we're not predicting because we're not guessing. No, that, that's what I mean. It's like you're watching the, the water, but it's not necessarily breaking right there. And then you're going, you're watching it and you know it's going to come yeah. up in front of you. We're reading the book, because then we know that someone's going to get murdered right up here <laughs> in 20 yards. You just know it's coming. Uh-huh. It's like a bad movie. You know what the ending's going to be. But the stroke on this one man is no different than a stand-up. It's a twist. It's a roll. It's the body is smooth. The smoother you can keep the body, the smoother the hull stays, and the faster it'll go. Okay.